In the two previous videos, we used some examples to illustrate the required rate of return and discount rate interpretations of a given interest rate. In this video, we'll do the same for the opportunity cost one. In this example, assume that my bank offers an annual interest rate of 6%. Also assume that I have $100 in savings. This $100 is in today's terms and thus can be interpreted as the present value. You can see this on the timeline as well. If I deposit these $100, they will grow to 106 in a year's time. How did I get those 106? By applying our future value formula, that is by multiplying my 100 by the one year future value factor. You can see the calculation down here as well. Moving on to our graph over here, I use C subscript 0 on the horizontal or x axis for today's consumption and C subscript 1 on the vertical or y axis for consumption in a year's time. Under one scenario, I can spend my entire $100 today at the expense of no consumption at all in the future. You can see on our graph, at $100 current consumption, consumption in year 1 is 0. Just move from here that is from the x-axis for the corresponding point on the y-axis, which will give us consumption in year 1, in this case 0, as we spend our entire amount today at time 0. Under another scenario, I could deposit my $100 in the bank and spend them in a year's time, at which point they'd grow to $106. $100 our initial amount, plus $6 interest received. But this, in similar fashion to before, would mean zero consumption today. Again, see the graph. Move from the 106 on the y-axis for the corresponding point on the x-axis, which is zero, as I deposited everything today and consumed $106 in a year's time. So in other words, from these two scenarios I presented, we conclude that there's a trade-off involved. Any consumption today comes at the expense of reduced future consumption and vice versa. And if you're at all familiar with economics, you would already know that the word trade-off goes hand in hand with the term opportunity cost. And that's why in this case, we would interpret our interest rate as the opportunity cost. Before closing, it is worth it to point out that the two scenarios presented here are only but two of all the available ones. We can adjust our current and future consumption by any different way presented on this graph. For example, we could be at this point, where we consume this much today and this much in a year's time. I can further elaborate, but we'll eventually deal with this in our economics module. Nevertheless, I think it's nice for you to draw links between different modules. Lastly, I'd like to say something similar to what I said in the first video on interest rate interpretations. And that is that these three interpretations are conceptual ones. Getting them wrong will not affect your calculations. In addition to that, the ability to distinguish between different interpretations of the interest rate, depending on the application at hand, is something that also comes over time as you expose yourself to more and more financial applications. So if these interpretations seemed a bit confusing, don't worry, they'll eventually make sense. Take care.